First, I want to thank you very much for all the overwhelmingly positive comments on my last video. And although I said that I'm probably not going to make tutorials anymore just for the sake of it, this is not just for the sake of it. I feel like this is important because I've been seeing a lot of comments about output routing, and there seems to be a confusion of how do I send things from the XLR outputs of my console that are different from the XLR outputs of the stage box? How can I have more than 16 outputs? So in this video, I'm going to do my best to explain as simply as possible what are the labels in the routing menu, where things come from, where they go to. And once you understand the whole concept of how it works, you're going to have a much easier time mixing and matching and sending whatever you want from whatever output. Because technically, you can have up to 32 physical XLR outputs, and you can assign whatever you want to them. I'm going to explain this in the M32 Edit app, and then I'm going to also show you in the Mixing Station app, if you use that, because it looks a bit different, at least the interface looks different. So let's go to the routing menu, and we're not talking about inputs, we're talking about outputs. There are two main categories of outputs you can think of. Virtual outputs, which are things that you do in the software that are not connected to any physical cable. Cool. And there are physical outputs. The XLR outputs or the aux quarter inch jacks that you plug cables into. Okay, so what are the soft outputs or virtual outputs? It's in the out1 to 16 page, that page, and the alternate page and the IQ setup, which is for turbo sound speakers. I'm not going to talk about that because I don't have any turbo sound speakers. I never used any turbo sound speakers. And you have the user out. This is also a bit confusing. I'll talk about it, but let's continue. Then you have the second category, which is your physical outputs. You have the XLR page. And that XLR page is just for the local XLR outputs on the back of your console. Okay? Nothing else. So if you have the um, M32, the big console or the compact one that has physical XLR outputs on the back of it, this is where you decide what you want to do with these XLR outputs. You also have the AS50 page, which you control what goes out of the physical XLR outputs on your stage boxes. And finally, you have the aux out page that controls what goes out of the quarter inch jacks on the back of your console. If you go to the out page, that's where I think most of you are familiar and know about it. This is where you can assign each of the 16 outputs of the console to pretty much whatever you want. The main left right, the mono bus, the mix buses for monitors, the matrix, direct out from channels. So if you plug something into, your, into the input for a channel, you can assign one of these 16 outputs to send out that same signal that is coming in directly out without going through anything else. Okay, and you can also send a direct out of the aux inputs. And if you're wondering, what is aux 7 and 8? Because you only have six aux jacks on the back of your console. 7 and 8 is the USB input. So if you are playing uh, tracks, stereo recording from your USB stick that you plug into the front of your console, that is aux 7 and 8. What is coming from the USB, you can send it out of an output of these 16 outputs. You can also send a direct out from the effects returns this is not the effect bus that you are sending stuff to. That is the return that is coming back from the effect to the console. Okay, and finally, you can also send out of one of these outputs your monitor, left, right. So what you hear in your headphones or in your near field monitors, if you're using like physical speakers to monitor. And you can also send your talkback microphone out of one of these outputs. Cool? But these are not just 16 outputs that you can use. You have 16 more outputs that you can use that are in the alternate page, the P16 outputs. And they are assignable in the same way that you do right here for the out 1 to 16. It's the same for the alternate outputs. It's just 16 more. Cool, so you can assign them to matrices, 
the mixed buses by default they are assigned to direct out from channels so whatever goes into the input for a channel will go out of this alternate output because these are usually used for the P16 personal monitors but if you're not using these or if you are you can still like do stuff with the these outputs you can still send them out of physical outputs even if you are using P16 personal mixers so they will still go to the personal mixer but you can also make them go out of a physical XLR output and you can send them like the out page the same thing from a direct out of an aux you can assign it to one of these outputs or direct effects return or the monitor that you hear in your headphones or the talkback cool so this is where you have the most flexibility in assigning things each output to whatever you want out 116 and the alternate page okay now these are soft outputs they are still not going out of any physical xlr plug right and before i continue i should mention that you can also decide what you want to do if you want to want it to be pre-fader post-fader pre-eq post-eq with mute without mute as it is local or input means the signal as it is it doesn't like the eq the fader the mute doesn't matter okay so if you have very loud sound coming out of your monitor and you don't know why and the fader is all the way down it may be on pre-fader or input so you have to assign that to post-fader okay now we assigned whatever we want to these outputs we still have to send them out of physical outputs the xlr page is only the xlr plugs on the back of your console your local xlr outputs not the stage boxes okay just what is on the back of your console by default they are assigned to out 1 to 16 and this out right here is what you did in the out page in the out 1 to 16 page okay so from output 1 from physical xlr output 1 to 4 you are sending out this out 1 to 4 cool from physical output 5 to 8 on the back of your console you are sending this output 5 to 8 this is what it means you can also change that you can assign them to alternate which is these alternate outputs of the p16 outputs so you can send out of the physical xlr outputs on the back of your console what you assigned in the alternate page cool you can also uh, do the same with the as50 with your stage boxes by default they are also assigned to out 1 to 8 out 9 to 16 you can also assign them to alternate so what is here output as50a128 is the physical xlr outputs on your stage box that is connected to the as50a port and this is for the b port okay so let's walk through them if i assign as50a128 to local 128 it means whatever is coming into the physical local xlr input on the back of your console will go directly out of the physical xlr output on your stage box that is connected to the as50a port cool if i assign as50a128 to as50a128 it means whatever is coming to the physical input of the stage box that is connected to the a port will go directly out of the physical output of the stage box that is connected to the a port you're still with me if i assign as as50 a to as50 b128 it means the physical inputs of the stage box that are connected to the as50 b port will go out of the physical xlr outputs of the stage box that is connected to the as50 a port or the console that is connected to it because it's not just stage boxes whatever is connected to the as50 network cool you're still with me if i assign it to card it means whatever is coming from your computer that is connected through a usb cable 
it's coming from your computer into your console, that will go out of the XLR outputs of the stage box. And you can also send the aux. When it says aux, it means the aux outputs. So if you have, if you're using inserts, physical external hardware inserts, that will normally go out of the aux, the quarter inch aux outputs, you can assign them right here to go out of the XLR outputs of the stage box. Okay, same thing. You can assign the aux in whatever is plugged into the physical quarter inch jack on your console, whatever is coming in to it, you can send it out of a XLR output on your stage box. And then you have your user out, which I'm going to talk about right now. It's confusing. It's a bit confusing. If you're working not in the app, on the console itself, it's easier. It makes a bit more sense, but it's still confusing. So here's what you do. You find the area in which you want to work. So if I want the source, which is where I'm getting the signal from, let's say I'm getting it from AS5128, I want to send it out of the XLR outputs of, I don't know, 17 to 24. So I, I select this intersection and then in here I decide what I want to do what I want assigned to. Then I go select something else, assign stuff to it. Okay, so this is how it works. I really don't like to use it because it's, it's kind of clunky. You can do the same stuff with the XLR page, which is the physical XLR inputs on the back of your console. So you can assign them. You can send out of output 1 to 4 on the back of the console. What is coming into input 1 to 4 that is also on the back of your console, local means on your console, not stage box. Okay, you can also send out of physical XLR output 1 to 4 on the back of your console. You can send what is coming into input 1 to 4 on the stage box A or stage box that is connected to port B or what is coming from the card from your computer. You can send it out of the physical XLR output on the back of your console. Or what is the default that is out 1 to 8, out 9 to 16, which you can find on the out page. That's where you assign them. Or you can assign the alternate, so the P16 outputs that you do on the alternate page. You can make them go out of the physical XLR output on the back of your console, like this. Or you can send the aux out. So whatever is going from the aux out, you can make it go out of the XLR output on the back of your console, or whatever is coming into the aux in will go back out directly from an XLR output, or the user in and user out. There's also the card. It's the same idea. By default, if you're recording multi-tracks, for example, you're going to have local inputs. So this, the card by default will record the local XLR inputs on the back of your console. If you're using a stage box, you'll have empty recordings because you need to assign the outputs of the card to AS50A or AS50B so that it records the input of the stage box and not the input of the console because you're not using the input of the console. Same thing for AS50B. Now, you will find also card section in the card. So it's recording itself. It might be a bit confusing at first, but yeah, whatever is coming from your computer into your console can also go back out of the console through the card into your computer. It's kind of useless, to be honest. Like, why would you do that? But you can if you want. You can also record the out 1 to 16. And this out 1 to 16 is where in this page where you assign the output. You can also record the alternate outputs that you assign in the alternate page and the aux outs and the aux ins, user in. We went through these multiple times. And that's it. You also have the aux out page if you're using the big console with the physical quarter inch jacks that you can send out of the main left right. 
you can do that if you want. By default, it's insert. So if you're using physical inserts and you insert physical hardware, that will go out of the aux by default, but you can assign them to main left right or to the mono bus. So if you're using all your XLR outputs on your console and on your stage box and you still need outputs, you can do that right here or to a matrix. Or you can send a direct out of a channel from the aux out, the quarter inch jack. Here in the mixing station app, if you click on the arrow up and down button and then go to output routing, you can see right here the outputs page is the same as this one, the out 1 to 16. Okay, so that's the output page where you can decide what you want to assign to each output and where you can also decide if the signal should come as it is or pre EQ or post EQ or pre fader or post fader. Usually, it's better to have it post fader unless you're doing, you're using the P16 outputs for the personal monitors, then you would send it however the musicians like. Definitely not post-fader, pre-fader, okay? Or post-EQ, or without EQ, or just like they want it. But don't do post-fader for monitors, never. Always pre-fader. Then you have your aux out page where you can also assign the AS EBU outputs. This is the XLR type plug on the back of your console where you can assign different things to it. The card and XLR outputs are on the same page in this app. So these are the XLR outputs, which are the physical XLR outputs on the back of your console, the local outputs, this one. So that's this. So you can assign out one to four, which is default. Now I'm not connected to the console. That's why the, they are assigned to the wrong thing. Or you can assign the alternate which you work on on this page, alternate output. And here you have the AS50A, AS50B. That's pretty much it. That's it. I hope this gave you a better understanding or at least helped you understand a little bit more how outputs work so then you can mix and match and do whatever you want with them. You can find the playlist with more tutorials on this console in the description of this video or click right here for a video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. And I'll see you in the next video.